Praise God. Praise God. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Go ahead and um, mm, 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 mm. hey everybody, how you doing? First day of the 21 day full liquid fast. Y'all know what time it is. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Oh, uh, you know what time it is? It's time for us to. Well, y'all know I gotta do it. I got it on, but hold on. It's time for true Christians to walk it. Hold on. To walk it like we talk it. And it has my logo. Prophetess Deanna Dixon, Roll Lot Soldiers. That's what time it is. That's what time it is. <laughs> How you guys doing? God bless you. God bless you. I did I was fighting to get up on here. Ooh, y'all think I'm kidding. Hold on. I'm not giving the devil no glory, but I don't care what no one says. That's why it is imperative that's in this hour that we fast and pray like never before, because that's where we at. Come on, somebody. We claiming our spiritual authority all the way. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's where we at, says the Lord. Hallelujah. So this is the first day of the full liquid fast. This is not an easy fast. I get that. But Lord have mercy. If you just hold on, be strong and do what God say throughout the fast. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That is liquids 24 seven. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I'm doing. Lots of water, green herbal tea, all herbal teas. Try to stick with teas and water. Now, if you start getting, you know, your stomach just, you know what, start smoothies all right stay away from anything acidy acidic um i'm so serious orange juice you can do apple juice you know um just vegetable juice as a matter of fact some of the spicy i like the spicy kind um let's see what else tomato juice and if you get two okay so if that doesn't suffice then go to the next level start doing your chicken broth your beef broth your vegetable broth okay and then that's it. Or are you liquid soups? The whole thing for a full liquid fast? No chewing. Come on, everybody say it with me. No chewing. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So I want to talk about the first day of the full, full liquid fast. I want to talk about spiritual authority. All right, point blank in the story. And I'm going to start with Mark chapter one. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the son of God. Verse two, as it is written in the prophets, behold, I send my messenger before thy face. What should prepare thy way before thee? Verse three, the voice of the one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Verse four, John did baptize in the wilderness and preached the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Verse five, and there went out unto him all the land of Judea and they of Jerusalem and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. Verse six, and John was clothed with camel's hair with a girdle of a skin about his lions and he did eat locusts and wild honey what a diet come on somebody hallelujah verse 7 and preach saying there cometh one mightier than i after me that latchet of whose shoes i am not worthy to stoop down and unloose verse 8 i indeed have baptized you with water but he shall baptize you with the holy ghost come on somebody hallelujah if you are a true christian and you are not truly filled with the holy ghost then we're going to stop just right there. Something wrong. Because if we're doing this thing for real, like the disciples of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, then we are supposed to be walking in full power, full authority. Hallelujah. Let me continue. Verse nine. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus Christ, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized of John in Jordan. Verse 10. And straightway coming out of the water, he saw the heavens open. My God. And the spirit like a dove descending upon him. Verse 11. And there came a voice from heaven saying, thou art my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Verse 12. And immediately the spirit drove him into the wilderness. Hold on, hold on. Let, let, let me go that again. Verse 12. And immediately the spirit driveth him into the wilderness. Do you know why he went into the wilderness? To fast and pray. Getting himself ready for the task. I'm going somewhere. That's why we fast. And let me tell you something. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just cap it. Most people fast to lose weight. If that's what you're doing, then you might as well just go ahead and say, look, I'm on a diet. But when you're truly fasting and praying, that means you're in consecration. That's, that's important. You are sacrificed. That's it. You are sacrificing. I'm not going to eat. 
And what I'm going to do in my spare time is I'm going to get in that word. I'm going to pray. I'm going to lay on my face prostrate and I'm going to summon God to come into my life, cleanse my heart, purify my heart, purify my walk, purify my talk, purify me. That's what we're doing. Because I'm telling you, something is coming. A storm is coming. But God, God is positioning people in this hour like never before. Playtime is over. You playing? You, you playing Christians? Don't worry. In a minute, you, you're going to be looking to be safe for real. Oh, let me go ahead before I go off. Praise God. Hallelujah. Verse 13. And he was there in the wilderness 40 days, tempted of Satan. You're going to be tempted. Some of you, well, I can't stand my boss. I can't stand this. I can't. I'm going we are going to be tempted. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And was with the wild beasts and the angels ministered unto him. Verse 14. Now, after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. Verse 15. And saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. That's where we're at right now. Why y'all think all this stuff is going on and God is allowing it? Whole hallelujah. The, the God said the harvest is ripe. But the laborers are few. And that's what that said the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 16. Now as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. Verse 17. And Jesus said unto them, come ye after me, and I will make you become, I will make you to become fishers of men. Oh, come on, somebody. We don't witness like we used to witness. We don't evangelize like we used to evangelize. We don't ask people, um, you want to be saved? Because we know who's not safe. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But the thing is, though, does your lifestyle actually reflect on what you're saying and living? Oh, come on, somebody. Let me continue. Hallelujah. Verse 18. And straightway they forsook, their, they forsook their nets and followed him. Verse 19. And when he had gone a little further, thence he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who also were in the ship mending their nets. Verse 20. And straightway he called them and, and they left their father, Zebedee, in the ship with the hired servants and went after him. My God, my God. Let me expound on that one right there. Are you willing to leave it all? Your job. Come on, somebody. Your family. That person that you are with that's not saved. Oh, oh, Lord. That man, that woman. Whatever God tell you. And come after me. Oh, let me continue. Hallelujah. Verse 21. And they went into Capernaum and straightway on the Sabbath. And he entered into the synagogue and taught. Verse 22. And they were astonished at his doctrine. Now, hold on. He in the synagogue and they're astonished because guess what? We're living in the days of Pharisees and Sadducees that they don't even know the true doctrine of Jesus Christ of Nazareth because guess what? So many people are following the, the doctrine of men, the doctrine of Baal in this hour like never before. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all, I'm on one. I'm going to tell y'all right now. Y'all know when I'm fasting, what, what time it is. Hallelujah. Let me continue. And um, praise God. Verse 22. He taught them as one that had authority. That's what I started off with, right? Our conference that's in July. God always gives me a theme. I don't. I don't ever just give a conference. By the way, y'all know that, right? Uh, it's gonna be miracle signs and wonders. Y'all know what time it is. But I said, God, well, what do you want? Me, what is the theme? Well, not even a theme. What do you want your people to learn when they come? I want them to reclaim their spiritual authority because they have relinquished their authority. How do you relinquish your authority when you allow sin to rule your life and everybody else tell you what to do, how to do, when to do it? But God, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me continue. I feel the power of God up in here. Let me read 22 again. And they were astonished at his doctrine. So, you know, they went with God because if you are astonished at something, that means that you don't understand it. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. For he taught them as one that had authority and not as scribes, as the scribes. Verse 23. And that was in the synagogue, a man with an unclean spirit. And he cried out, oh, Lord, I'm about to peel that onion back. You, you got to understand. Oh, Lord, here I'm getting ready to go. I'm literally of people to say, everything is not a spirit. Now, it is true. Everything ain't Satan. Because some of that stuff is our choices. But everything is a spirit. Whether it's a good spirit, a bad spirit, unclean spirit. Oh, there it is. All these diseases, that is an unclean spirit, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Read your Bible. Let me continue. And he cried out, verse 24, saying, let us alone. Notice, demons don't ever just have one. They're always in packs. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Hallelujah. Are thou come to destroy us? 
I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. Verse 25. And Jesus rebuked him saying, hold thy peace and come out of him. You don't even get to talk to me because you don't have authority. Hallelujah. Y'all giving these demons too much authority over your life, in your life speaking. You got to ask God who's who. I teach this and I'm going to live this to the day. Hallelujah. That God called me home. When you meet someone, I don't care who they are. The first thing you should be saying, God show me their spirit. Because this a lie like a rug. And people these days, that they perpetrate very well. Or oh, come on, somebody, very eloquently. <laughs> but God showed me their spirit. Oh, when he show you their spirit, it is true. Hallelujah. Let me continue. Verse 26. And the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice. He came out of him. Verse 27. And they were amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? And that's just how church folks are. You can say what you want. I'm, you know what? I, I'm about to go off. Hallelujah. I used to get, I, I used to, I used to feel rejected. I'm going to be real with you. I don't feel that way anymore, but you could talk about it when you're being redeemed. Well, God, they're not letting me, they're not calling me. They're not. I get it. Thank you, Jesus. He had had me separated because they didn't understand who I was anyway in the spirit. Yo, let, let me, let me talk about this. 27. And they were amazed in so much that they questioned them of themselves saying, what thing is this? I was seeing so strong at 27, at 37, at 47, every church I went into, some of them, and I'm not, I'm just going to keep it hundred. They never saw that power. You know what they call me? Uh, one leader, and I forgive him because we're friends today. He's, and I know they made him call me. Are you a witch? <laughs> you know what I said? I said, man of God, did you ask God before you call me? <laughs> oh, come on, somebody, because they hadn't they hadn't known nobody that could flow like me. And I, I'm not trying to um, sound arrogant or be arrogant, but when you have the posture with God and you walk with God and you flow with God and the anointing is over your life, people don't understand unless. They have the same anointing or higher. You look strange. They are astonished. Who is that? What is this thing she says? What is this thing she doing? Who is she? Hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me continue. Saying, what new doctrine is this? <laughs> for with authority command he even the unclean spirits and they do obey him. And this is the same way that this, this yellow back church act today. Scared of demons. God said you have to reclaim your authority. That's what fasting and praying do. You see, when you fast, you are feeding your spirit. Come on, somebody. You're putting your flesh under submission. Therefore, you can see in the spirit. You can talk in the spirit. You can walk in the spirit. You can move in the spirit. And all your gates are pure. Hallelujah. You can hear in the spirit. You can see in the spirit. You can speak it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me continue. Verse 28. And immediately his fame spread abroad throughout all the region round about Galilee. Verse 29. And for when they, when they came, I'm sorry, when they came out of the synagogue, they entered into the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Verse 30. But Simon's wife lay sick of a fever, and on them they tell of her. Verse 31. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and immediately the fever left. Uh 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 uh. I gotta go back. 31. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up and immediately the fever left her and she ministered unto them. Verse 32. My, no, no, I got to go back to 31. He said, and, and I got to be transparent. You see, when you go through so much, remember I told y'all, I'm very transparent. I got hit, what, 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19. I got hit, hit back and forth. And I have to be honest with you. I kind of, I kind of drifted. I, I, I didn't believe like I used to believe. I'm talking about in myself. I always believed in God. I, I started questioning: Am I really called? Why are these things happening? Why is this? Why is that? And when God started bringing me back around, He said, "Look deeper. Look deeper. I allowed you to go through all that because when you are getting hit like that with trials, tests, and situations, I'm allowing you to see you so that you." <laughs> Come on, somebody, hallelujah, can grow. Because you, you got to go through in order to grow. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You see, people want an anointing, but they don't want to go through nothing. The first requirement of being anointed is God got to show you you. Because if not, how can you minister to others and, and truly be authentic with it and stop playing with people or entertaining people? But but, but once you, once you didn't went through some stuff, <laughs> it's real to you. Then you start understanding. 
You say like David, it is good that I've been afflicted that I might learn thy statutes. Not that I didn't know them, but that I might learn them even more so. So when you become anointed, you become appointed. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me continue. I'm saying this to say that the anointing, before I started getting hit, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, when I would speak it, it would happen. When I would lay hands, they would recover. As a matter of fact, when I used to go feed the homeless all the time, if I touched them, it looked like it would come up on me, if you want to know the truth, and I had to pray it off. I had to go lay prostate and pray it off. I, I, I remember one day in Sacramento, I was praying. This woman said, I'm hurting. And when I touched her, the pain immediately went into my body. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. And then God said, now I need you to take a shower when you get home, and I need you to get on the floor. And I'm not kidding. I don't exaggerate. I don't play with God. I saw the hand of God as I was laying prostrate on the floor. Take his hand and he removed all uncleanness. That's what ministry is. Oh, come on, somebody. You fast, you pray, you cast out, you, you heal, you deliver, then you lay. Oh, come on, somebody. You fast, you pray, you cast out, you heal, you deliver, then you lay before God and he, hallelujah. We don't want to do that no more because it cost. Oh, it cost. Let me continue. Verse 32. And at even when the sun did set, they brought unto him all that were diseased. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. They didn't go to the doctor. They didn't say no mental illness. Uh, they didn't say no schizophrenia. Oh, wait a minute. They, they didn't go to no hospital. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm just talking to myself right now. 32. Let me, let me reread 32 because I, I want to make some clarification. And that even when the sun did set, they brought unto him all that were diseased and that were possessed with devils. So wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. He didn't tell them to go to the doctor and take a shot. He didn't tell them to get no pills for anxiety and stress. He touched them. Oh, hallelujah. Church, church, where you at? Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. All right, let me continue. Verse 33. And all the city was gathered together at the door. 34. And he healed many that were sick of diverse disease. There it is. All that stuff that we're hearing, that's device, diverse diseases. And cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Verse 35. And in the morning, rising up great while before day, he went out and departed in a solitary place. And there he prayed. Notice what he did. He fasted, he prayed, he healed and delivered, cast them out. Y'all trying to cast, heal, and deliver without fasting and praying every day. I stopped doing it too. I, I, I'm very transparent on purpose. When I was in Sacramento, it, it seemed like I was, and, and when I got hit 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, I backed up, and then I, I heard God say, why'd you back up? Don't let the enemy back you up. You back him up. Hallelujah. And that's when I start saying, you know what? I repent, God. Hallelujah. Y'all know the story because here I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The anointing will cost you everything. Hallelujah. And most people don't want to pay it because it is a sacrifice. You can't do what you want to do. You can't go where you want to go. You can't be who with you. Uh oh. Most of y'all want to do what you want to do, how you want to do it, when you want to do it. And want God to anoint you and appoint you. The devil is a lie. Hallelujah. Let me continue. Hallelujah. Verse 36. And Simon and they that were with him followed after him. 37. And they, when they had found him and they said unto him, all men seek for thee. Because they want to be healed and delivered. You see, when the church start understanding who they really are and get their spiritual authority back, people are not going to be going to no hospital. They're not going to worry about no COVID-19. They're going to be looking for who can touch me, who can heal me, who can deliver me in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Who has the power? Who has been with God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People looking for it now, truth be told. Let me continue. Hallelujah. 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 And he said to them, verse 38, let us go into the next towns that I may preach there also. For therefore came I forth. Jesus didn't run after this and that. He said, therefore, this is what I came. I came to preach, teach, heal, and deliver. That's our whole mandate, church. It, I'm not saying the perks are not perks. But if we're not he healing, preaching, teaching, healing, and delivering, and then laying before God, then what are we truly doing? Oh, come on, somebody. Let me continue. Let me continue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
39. And he preached in the synagogues throughout all Galilee and cast out devils. He didn't tell them to go get some anxiety medicine. He didn't tell them to go get some mental health medicine. I'm just saying, let me do my disclaimer. Do your thing. If that's your thing, then do your thing. No one is saying don't go where you want to go or whatever. I'm saying the true doctrine of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in chapter in Mark chapter 1. That's all. All right, let me continue. Praise God. Verse 40. And there came a leper to him, beseeching him and kneeling down to him and saying unto him, If thou will, thou can make me clean. People will look for you when you are authentic. They'll, they'll drive an hour. Can you just touch me, man of God? Yeah, I know I'm anointed and appointed to, but can you just touch me, man of God? Oh, come on, somebody, so that I can do what God has called me to do, so I can be pushed into it. Hallelujah. Because guess what? You grow and you grow and you grow. It's a process. You will always be processed to the day you die. Spiritual maturity, growing, 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 getting closer to God, getting anointed heavier and heavier in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let me continue. Verse 42. And as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him and he was clean. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Verse 43. And he straightly charged him and forward sent him away. Verse 44. And said unto him, See thou say nothing to any man, but go thy way, show thyself to the priests. Go show yourself to church folks that I'm not really in the church, but I am the church. Don't, I'm the son of God. Go show yourself to the priest because the priest couldn't do it. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. People get mad when I tell the truth. And that's just the way it's going to have to be. You got all these people with all these platforms and can't lay hands on nobody. No, not even themselves. But they are all that. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Let me continue. Let me continue. Hallelujah. 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 And offer for thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded for a testimony to him. Oh, that's for you people that don't like the tithe and offer. That's what you're talking about by that. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm just being real. And offer for thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded. <laughs> y'all don't like to hear that one. All right, let me go. 45. Last, last verse. But he went out and began to publish it much and to blaze aboard the matter insomuch that Jesus could no more openly enter the city, but was without in desert places. And they came to him every quarter. Oh, hallelujah. And this was the word of God. Mark, King of James Version, chapter one. Let me tell y'all something. That's where we're hitting. I'm talking about the true room. I'm not talking about you little fakers. I'm not talking about you entertainment people. I'm not talking about you ones that just want a name and want to be famous because you ain't going to get it anyway. Because let me tell you how God really works. God give it to the ones that didn't ask for it and the ones that's going to do what he called them to do because right now we're in obedience. You will not be blessed unless you walk in obedience and spiritual authority in this hour, said the Lord. Hallelujah. That's how it really does because guess what? God is tired of people dying without him. Yeah. That's where we at. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. My God, my God. So let me go ahead and pray. This was the, this was, ooh, this was a, day one is always, oh my God. I'm not even going there. Y'all don't even know. I mean, thank you, Lord. God woke me up at four o'clock this morning and I start to do it this morning, but I knew he didn't want me to because it was just all day long, crazy stuff. And I'm not kidding. Hospitals calling me. This is calling me. This. And I just. Okay, Lord. Just going. And I, I'm still fasting. Still praying. Still fasting. Still praying. And then when it calmed down about an hour ago, God said, no. Hallelujah. God is strategic. Hallelujah. So let me go ahead and pray. I told you I always have your aura now. I don't. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Ooh, y'all think I'm. I am serious. I am not kidding. Witches and warlocks pray over your pages. You better come up on here with authority and move in authority. I don't be playing. Before I even got up here, I, I, I don't know who watching me chanting and doing all this crazy stuff. <laughs> I send it back to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Dear Father God, I pray for everyone that's on the 21 day looking fast and even the ones that are not. I don't want to make you feel any kind of way. You'll get there when the time comes. Father God, I just pray that you strengthen us. You know that this is this is a type of fast. To be honest with you, the real fast is nothing, but we'll get there too.
Father God, I just lift up everybody that's on the fast. Father God, I pray that you strengthen them in their mind, their body, Father God, their spirit, spiritually, financially, emotionally, Father God, physically, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare to be so, God. I sever to the root of that thing any demonic activity. Oh, come on, somebody. Any assignments that the demons, oh, hallelujah, want to try to um, actually speak over us. Oh, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare Oh, Father God, I know every plot, every plan, every scheme, every wickedness uh, that was spoken over our lives. Hex, vex, curse. Oh, I serve it to the root of that thing. Send it right back to Toshis, the darkest part of hell, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Father God, I speak in life. I speak prosperity. I speak strength. I speak that they will understand their full spiritual authority and they will walk in it, talk in it, move in it. Hallelujah. They will cast out devils. They will speak and it will be done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They will heal. They will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Oh, hallelujah. It is time. It's time. I hear revival. I hear revival. I hear revival in the name of Jesus. He said, but first there must be repentance. Hallelujah. I hear you, God. I hear you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Time out for playing and strain, God says. You will be exposed. And that's anybody can get it. Hallelujah. Oh, Father God, I just thank you. We pray for those that are not saved, God. Touch them. Even if it's not by us, especially family members, God. Send somebody to touch them, to speak a word, Father God. God say, continue to stand in the gap for your loved ones, your friends, even your enemies. For you make your enemies your foots do in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare to be so as a prophet to the nations. Oh, Father God, I just thank you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, I draw a bloodline around these people. I pray for this world, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I pray that the saints stand, the remnants stand like never before. Walk in spiritual authority. Talk in spiritual authority. Move in spiritual authority. Cast out demons. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Lay hands on the sick, Father God. It is time. It is time. It is time, said the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, but first there must be purification. Hallelujah. And consecration, he says. He says, you, you've touched the unclean thing. He said, now I must make you whole again. Hallelujah to his name. Oh, Father God, I thank you, God. I thank you, God. I thank you, God. Oh, Lord, we give you honor. We give you praise. I said this prayer will not be hindered, stopped, or blocked, but will accomplish what it was sent out to do in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Let us all on one agreement say amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me tell you something. We are not in the time to play. <sighs> hallelujah, hallelujah. People are dying without God, even in the family, even in the church. It's time. It's time to be very, very transparent. You know you need help. You better get to somebody's church that's authentic. And that's another thing. Stop following people that is not authentic. You're wasting your time and getting tainted at the same time. The devil is a lie. I don't let nobody play with my spirit. I don't let nobody touch me that's not anointed. Because if you're not, no, I'm going to look at you crazy. Back up off me. I ain't no softy. Hallelujah. Let me get up off of here. All right, you guys. God bless you. God keep you. I will be back tomorrow, day two. Keep on striving. Keep on. And even if you fall off, get back up. Get back up. Get back up. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You, you got to get back spirit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I'm going to show this one more time. I like them. I'm not just trying to sell them. Yeah, I'm trying to sell them too, but I, I like them. Because God be giving me um. I don't know why I do that. To walk it like we talk it. And they got my um, emblem. Prophetess Deanna Dixon says, roll out soldiers. And that's what I'm getting ready to say right now. All right, y'all know what time it is. Oh, you know what? I want to. Okay. Miss Kia Duncan. Prophetess Kia Duncan. Her daughter makes these. And this, this is so pretty. Kia. K-I-A. D-U-N. K-I-N. Uh-oh. Kia, you better put your name on here. I think I done messed it up. <laughs> but this is so pretty. Let me take it off. How pretty. Her young daughter. She has her own business. So we got to, we got to, in purple, we got to, um, we got to help each other out. You know? Well, all right. God bless you. God keep you. Get in your word, get in your word, get in your word like never before. I When I'm multitasking, I put on that audio. I'm always in my word. I have that word going in and out. Walk through your house. I don't know why God's telling me to do this. Walk through your house with that word. You're wondering why you're catching so much hell in your house. Guess what? Once you once you get, you're fasting and you're praying, I'm like a radar. I know when something. Let me make y'all laugh when, when before I get off of here. <laughs>
It was so cute, I think. So one day Dada came in, and I'm not trying to um, expose him. I'm trying to talk about the power of the Holy Ghost. So one day, and this was years ago, by the way, um, Daddy had came in the house, and the Holy Spirit said, just watch him. And so I went up to him. I said, Dad, what you doing? So I kind of like just looked like that. I was like, I'm looking at him up and down. And the Holy Spirit said, touch, touch his stomach. So I touched his stomach. And Daddy had some magazines. Y'all know what kind of magazines. Man, I got to go there. He said, you're always doing something. You're always. I said, you, you can't feel the Holy Ghost. You can't bring nothing up in here and I don't know. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. The Holy Ghost going to let me know. The way that I seal this place and any other place that I've been, anything that come through that door, the Holy Spirit going to let me know. Y'all wondering why stuff is entering in your home and you don't know? <laughs> come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We, we're gonna, I'm going to do a, a video about that. You got to know what's going on. Any attachments? Oh, I don't know why God got me going here, but I, I can't even in this video. I got, I got to do it. Your children come in from school. You need to stop them at the door and pray over them. Because before they even get in the house, I know, I know they do. Oh, she doing too much, whatever. But I wonder why they're acting fool. And you didn't, brought, you didn't let that stuff come up in your house. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. I'm going to say this. When I was in Manny, Louisiana, my first spiritual parents, um, Reverend Clovis Rogers, that's when I first got ordained in 1996, Manny, Louisiana, New Jerusalem Baptist Church. i never forget. My place was so anointed, and I had never seen this happen, so I was shocked. I had invited some people over, and they went to try to step in. They did, And I'm just looking, and at first I felt a feeling. I was like, and they're looking, I'm looking. They tried it again, and they that's when I knew. I just stepped back. I said, oh, they can't come in. And it's like, we're going to just talk to you later. I was like, I ain't going to lie. You know, I was 27. So I was like, I was like, oh, my God. So I had to pray. I said, God, what is that? He said, when you are praying over your home and I touch every door and I seal every window with the draw bloodline by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And he said, you're praying authentically. He said, they can't come in because they're not invited in, because they have no authority. And so when they couldn't come in, notice I never said, I said, oh, y'all can come in. I watched what well, they was watching. All our eyes was big that day because I was like, because I pay attention. I, I talk a lot, but people don't understand. I'm always peeping. I'm always watching because I'm a watching, <laughs> watching woman. I'm sorry. So that's what I do, right? And ever since that day. That's when I knew about spiritual authority in your home. Y'all sitting up there, y'all invite everybody in your house. Come on, come on. And then you wonder why you can't sleep at night. Or you wonder why you having sexual dreams of succubus and incubus. Oh, I didn't wait to the left and to the right, didn't I? I don't play that. I don't play that. You can't, if I know you not living right, you can come in. Maybe. I don't know if you can really come in. <laughs> and then let's say you you invite somebody in and you know they're not living right. And, you, and it's a family member. You're not trying to be ugly or whatever the case may be. What you do is you go through your house and you pray. You touch every door. And you open that front door, that back door, and you pray this prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every attachment, anything that I let in, Father God, knowingly or unknowingly, Father God, I cast it out by the authority. Luke 10, 19. You're giving me authority over every serpent, Father God, to cast out demons. Hallelujah. And anything, Father God, any attachments. Because let me tell you something. Let's say somebody touched this. I don't know what they're putting on this. That's an attachment. We're talking about spiritual attachments, by the way. Because people are like, well, ah, they're not. No, no, this is spiritual talk. And only those that, that understand the spirit are going to understand what I'm saying. Everybody else going to be like, what's she, what's she talking about? Don't worry about it, honey. you get it. you get it. Oh, you're going to get it. What's coming? You're going to get it. Uh, you Trust me, y'all going gonna to want to be saved in a, in a minute. When, when they start, y'all think this COVID thing was something. Wait till you see what they really got planned. Come on, somebody. We in Revelation for real. Let me get up off of here now for real. All right. Real lots of soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless. I love you all through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Walk like it, talk like it, move like it. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. And don't break your fast. You can do this. You can. Yes, 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 you can.